very much closing in. Yes. Right. Oh, beautiful. Nice. Oh, it's, it's definitely done now. Oh, flooding on the battleship. That's not having a good day. Squirtiness. It's not having a good day. Look at that. Look at the hole in there. Oh, hey, oh, someone went pop. What was that? We're going to do a hard right now and squirt at them. There we go. Launched. Two together. Yes. Get some smoke screen down. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Oh, brilliant. It's eating torpedoes quite well, actually. Well, you can do some as well. Sod it. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. If you're like me and love a bargain, then you're going to love the link in the description as it's going to take you to Instant Gaming, which is a platform that will save you a lot of money on all of your games. This includes Steam, GOG, PlayStation and Xbox also, as well as many others. I've bought a couple of games from here and saved myself some money, you should too. The link is in the description, be sure to check it out you'll actually be surprised just how much you will save. Not only will it be helping me out, but you'll be helping yourself out as well. Be sure to check it out. Link's in the description. Thank you. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Moist G Gaming. Thank you for tuning in. And if we have a look, we left it where we're going to go and take on all of these ships with two North Carolinas. Thankfully, they've been updated, but they're only on trains because they're pretty much fresh out of dry dock so this should be interesting that's for sure this is for Colombia I didn't realize they had a navy not gonna lie and so this is gonna be fun and it looks like they've sent it all at us all at once so we're gonna have to be aware of torpedoes that's for sure there's plenty of them floating around in this fleet and two battleships I don't think they're gonna be that much of a threat and I also think that these are mostly old Italian ships. So they're generally quite nifty. Maybe not these ones. I'm not sure where these are from. They all sound Italian. Well, let's get stuck in and see what happens, eh? Right. Here we go. Oh. And immediately we're opening fire. Okay. But where are they? So there's their battleships. That is a light cruiser. Augusta-ish. Okay. Battleships. Old, small guns. Not really a threat. That definitely isn't a threat. Should be able to blast them out of the water. My main concern is torpedoes from the little boats. So I'm actually going to go full left here to make sure we can open up all the guns that we have on them mm. 5.9s these have all been upgraded they've got technology oh they're squirting back they've got the new engine in them much more maneuverable accuracy should be a thing we're gonna put them all on save because there's a lot of ships and I need to make sure that we actually have enough ammunition to help a deal with these. Oh! They hit me deck! There's me thinking they're not a threat. I didn't really do anything. It tickled the main tower. As if they're going to hit from that range. Marvellous. But anyway, no, it's just a tickle. It's still in the green, so accuracy hasn't been smashed from the get-go. Well, it looks like they're going to be coming in. If I go maybe that direction, that might be a better idea. Now, these go 22 knots, which is significantly slower than a torpedo boat, obviously. Reload rate on these things has been reduced to 71 seconds, compared to the old 160 seconds. Let's speed this up and see how we get on. 
I'm gonna try and squirt at them from a distance at the moment by the sounds of things. I think we're still gonna get the range. And now they are aimed. Oh, cat, don't jump on the keyboard, you lemon. I think we're good. I think we're good. I better double check, actually. Yeah, real good. Making sure you didn't cancel the recording or anything. That would have been a disaster. Now, when these get turned into veterans, probably after this battle, to be completely honest, that will be glorious. Now, what is that? That is steaming in. Don't know what speed that has, but we're going to turn, uh, turn blah, blah, blah. get the a Kansas aiming at that with everything. They're really the main threat. Absolutely. I'll even get the secondaries on. Oh, they're all going for it. Oh, okay. At least to some degree. I'm just going to keep swerving around them. Yeah, there's more of them coming in. We are hitting it. You can go for the other one. So that is a torpedo bolt. Or a destroyer. Well, that's a destroyer. Yeah, they're coming in. Oh, good hit, good hit. But it's not enough to really knock it out. Any more of them coming in? It would appear so. Get them all aiming for that now, because that is a threat. We can't escape from that. The light cruisers, I think we will be able to. Blocked! No way! Now, they've only got a top range of one kilometer, so they have to get super close. As long as that doesn't get any closer, real good. You, Mississippi, can start squirting at that one. I'm going to turn the fleet back this way. While you're squirting at that. So they are the main threat. We do have plenty of casemates and things. Oh, flooding. Oh, good. That one's gone. That one's gone. That's one less. Right, you take care of that one. While well, you take care of the lead ship. Keep coming back around. Just ignoring the battleships at this point. Oh, good, good, good. They may have just destroyed one. Casemates are doing a wonderful job there. Don't think it's going down, but they are very much closing in. Over pen, fire. That one's going to the back. Okay, we're going to aim for that one now as well. Hopefully, that one's closing in. Get rid of the raggle. Don't let it. Don't let it do it. That's it. Hit the engines. Yes. Right, that's now going to the back of the formation. Okay. Turn that way back again a little smidge. Start taking care of these. Oh, that went. Oh, good. Only minor damage so far. I'm happy with that. I have to go on a little bit of a different course because that is incredibly close. Might even have to split these up. I need you to come more this way. Well, you go more that way. There you go. Bit of flooding. Yeah, that's good. Okay, okay. Now they're thinking about going the other way. We can turn. Ah, oh, yes! Okay, form back up, form back up. You start tickling that one. No, not you. Not both of you, just you. Oh, they're both doing it. I suppose that is the threat right now. We've launched a top at it. That's probably going to send it skew with. If that hits... Dude, no way! Don't you dare. Don't do it. Flooding. Yes, go on. Oh, I think we just about got away with that. 
take it down. Oh, there's no torpedoes left on it. Oh, fabulous. Oh, that was a solid clunk, wasn't it? Nice. Okay. We've launched a torp at that one as well. Surprised we're hitting these with torpedoes. That's fairly close. Not a bad shot, but it is a miss. Come back this way. Now, there's another torpedo boat all the way back there. Oh, that's the one that we've hit. Oh, that's had a definite bad day. That's had flash fires. That only has torps left. So if that one comes near, we know what that one's going to do. Right, so where are we now then? We've got that light cruiser coming in. We can get the Mississippi to smash no, just that one. While you hit that torpedo boat still, because they probably will repair the engines, and they have. Flooding is still a major thing, but that still has torpedoes. A little bit more cautious now. Now they're only going to fire if they've got a good lock. Oh, they're all on normal anyway. Oh, I'll put it on save. Need to save the ammunition where possible. Can't wait till these get more trained up. That light cruiser's coming in. Oh, good flooding on the air on. Oh, that sounded like a good hit. Oh, Aaron's gone. Ah, oh, yeah, definitely. All fire on this region E then. Ah, oh, yeah. That's a HE shell. Look at the fire that caused. That is done. Just like that. Okay. Right, next target. Let's try and get a little closer now because we can see what's going on. Speed things up. We're we'll squirting at the enemy battleships now, apparently. This one is the bigger threat over the two. We'll get all fire on that. Over pen went straight through. It's our course. Here yeah, we can all still fire. Gradual decrease in distance. Yeah, there's no way they're getting through. Well, it only pens 13.5 at point blank. That one goes up to 15, but that's still not great. What's the armor on it? Oh, 12.7. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, another one's coming in. Oh, sugar. Right, quick, pause it. Well, not pause it, but slow it down. Right, that thing is definitely... Needs to go. Let's take care of that. If that thing... Oh, there's another one. Right, you go for the one at the back. I need to turn the fleet. Give us more time to destroy these things, but I need the casemates to stay locked. Oh, nice. That one is gone. 11,000 worth of death. Not even identified that yet. Get these casemates on. Yeah, they're not firing. Mustn't have a good lock. There you go. There we go. Ah, yeah. Francia is not looking pretty. Now we've got these to deal with. You take care of that one while the Arrakis goes for that one. We're actually gaining pretty close to their battleships. I'm going to... Oh, wow. I've accidentally turned the fleet turn away from the torpedoes please that would be marvelous not even bothered about them for a moment they can wait these are the danger they can just swoop in yes 
Right, well, you take care. No, that torpedo boat, that's the threat there. Come all the way back around. Ignore the guns on the battleship. The Arrakis takes out the Castor. They can only do partial pens. Oh, beautiful. Nice. Alright, now I might actually be able to take on. There's still that thing there, though. Arrakis, keep trying to shoot the Castor. We shall have the Mississippi squirting at these battleships now, I think. Launched a few torpedoes. Only well, down to two. I think a couple of them went pop. Well, that's usually the case. Oh, good here. Castor is not looking pretty. It's going to survive that, though. We need another hit. Keep coming back round. I think this is all they've got left. Oh, it's, it's definitely done now. Oh, flooding on the battleship. That's not having a good day. Castor is still there. That light cruiser is still there. Oh, bits of flamey squirtiness. That CL is a bit of a threat. That torpedo boat may survive as it is. We'll get the Arrakis on the other one now. I don't think that torpedo boat is coming towards us. But that light cruiser may yet still. That means we can potentially turn the fleet a little bit more into them. Battleship's nearly down. A few partial pens. Not having a good day. Look at that. Look at the hole in that. Oh, hey, oh, someone went pop. What was that? I love the sound of those casemates. You even get the secondaries aiming at this on that thing. While well, all the guns on the Kansas are squirting at this thing. This probably doesn't have much armor on it. Yeah, see, there's nothing. Just need to hit the thing now. Alright, let's put its smoke screen up. Oh, good hit. That was a 4.9 inch shell. Oh, that battleship's not having a good day. This thing looks like it's going down. Well, I don't think they're stopping us from invading them, are they? Just need a few more little hits. that going down isn't it oh we can all have fire going on that thing now then oh we've just launched torpedoes as well oh they're gone for the other one that's fine that's going down anyway that battleship over there is limping away we're gonna open fire on this thing like never before i'm gonna slow the fleet down slightly for the increased accuracy bonus can't believe they're still using these well, then again, I've still got 23 Augusta class. Yeah, they've been updated, but it's still an obsolete hull. I suppose the Washingtons are all obsolete hulls as well, but this is just ancient. This is extra obsolete. We're going to keep an eye out for that other torpedo boat. Oh, yeah. Most of them 
more overpens going straight through the thing. Which is ridiculous. And look at the stats on these. I'm not surprised it's an overpen. If they were proper hits though, that would have been... Oh wow! It's burning quite heavily. Oh yeah, it's gone. Look at that. Wonderful. Oh, it did launch torpedoes. That was why it was doing invasive maneuvers. So there's that torpedo boat left. That battleship and... Something else, apparently. I know there's that torpedo boat, but that's not going to survive very long. Beautiful. Ooh, good hit, good hit. Main deck penetration, okay. Well, that's gone, isn't it? And now, apparently, they're just to the northeast, and that will probably be just the torpedo boat. And I'm going to leave it at that because I don't think they're going to be a threat to us anymore. Haha! <laughs> Lovely! Oh, that was a nice start, wasn't it? Oh, wonderful. That was two ships. Mmm. Stats for anybody who's mightily interested. Our well, main gun accuracy wasn't great. But they're only on trained. They're probably veterans now after that or seasoned. It'll be even better. Wonderful. Why? Right. Well. After that, I mean that's because we're doing a conquest down here. Ah, so they've got a 29% chance of doing Oh, we're sending more down. Yeah. Mmm. Not a great chance, is it? I might need to send some more but I don't think they're going to be ready or there in time so if we get it we get it to be honest it's one of them other news though Italy is all well and done and dandy so I need to put one of them in there and that's good all these minefields are going to grow huge amounts because I've upgraded these to have monstrous amounts of mine laying capacity in them that's glorious and we've got fleets coming down here at stupid rapid rates to murder the rest of, well, this. To be completely honest, we've grabbed the Philippines, which is marvellous. I'm going to go for these, this area here, southern China, because, well, Britain keeps trying to get it. And if they get that, I'm not going to be too happy about the situation. So we're going to try and do a naval invasion on that. Let's get all these ships down here. Every single one, there's three fleets currently just stationed right here. Don't want Britain getting it. Now, this will provide a lot of fundage. But if Britain gets it, that makes them strong. Look at the money. Yeah. Politics-wise, we're buddy-buddy with Britain still. Uh, I thought they were going to go to war with France, but they've laid off a smidge. So I'm going to try and do the same. I could get a peace treaty with Soviet Union, but I think that will break our alliance with Britain, and I do not want that. Hungary, they've been wobbly up and down for a while. German Empire, the Brits are quite nice with them, so I'm going to try and match what they have, to be completely honest. Research. Oh, we've got another rangefinder on the go. That's wonderful. I do want more rangefinders. Ideally, I want radar, but that's a little bit off, I presume. Torpedo propulsion. Yes, I like my torpedoes. Ooh, that's a nice one. Destroy a screen. I give some nice bonuses. I think I'll go for that. Trying to get turret mechanisms. I would advanced twin turrets. Oh yeah, look at that. That's an instant bonus to all the twin turrets that we have. But I'm hoping to try and get dual turrets for the destroyers and such. Armour, I could probably do with a better one, to be completely honest. Cruisers, yeah, at the moment I'm not that bothered. Our needs are currently satisfied. Shells would be quite a good one, to be completely honest. Because you just get an instant boost in goodness. Submarines are probably going to be coming a thing at some point, so I also need to be wary of that. 
But in general, I'm trying to push the range of the guns. So I'm I think I'm gonna be pushing rangefinders more and more on then control stations, possibly. I've done quite a bit of that. Armor, I mean that's definitely gonna be a thing. I've unlocked, if you missed it, oil. Now everything is currently running on coal, but I've got oil now. And I'm thinking I'll do another refit of the fleet in combination with the armor upgrade and things like that. That would be marvelous. I think I'll put that armor quality on another notch, to be completely honest, and remove the torpedo one. We're getting there. We are getting there. And send these in. Yeah, balance is a little bit meh at the moment, but it is what it is. Peace time would be nice to get the GDP up, but I'm not missing on this opportunity to be buddy-buddy with Britain and take China. I'm not doing it. Peace can wait. I was hoping for a minor peace for a couple of years after Italy is done, but then Soviet Union, China and Spain all decided to go to war with me, so looks like we're having to go at them. To save money, I could get rid of the old fleet, but I'm just going to use them for tonnage to encourage the naval invasions. We've got plenty of ships going over this way. I think they've already all shifted over. Yeah, they're all over here now. So I've got four North Carolinas here with some destroyers as escorts. I've got 21 cruisers coming down. 10 more Washingtons coming down. They've all been refitted. And there's more of them somewhere. They're floating around. The Baltimore class ships, they're going to go and tickle with these hopefully it'll be enough but we shall see let's end the turn chinese transports are now subject to our marauding advanced twin turrets yes turret accuracy and everything right well we should be able to do a naval invasion here now on southern china I don't want the brits to get it oh they're being pushed out anyway so that's quite nice but if we do a political scandal of goodness China, naval invasion. Um, oh, was it Eastern China? Not Eastern China. What about Southern China? Oh, they need to be down there, do they? I see, I see. Okay. Well, I'm just thinking Southern China because the port capacity is lower, which means we've got a higher chance of success. So in that case, I'll move these down here. I thought it would be down there, but it apparently isn't. We'll just stick them there. See if we can instigate this. Which we should be able to do. I could get Taiwan, but I don't want to do that right now. I want to get Southern China before the Brits time to try and take it. I mean, the Brits are moving into Kazakhstan and everything now. They're going to take that. That's a good oil production area. More income for them. Russia's having a bad day. The, yeah. This is all what remains of China. Well, not China. Spain. They don't collapse. I am going to grab them. But China's a bigger prize right now. So that's my main mission. More Chinese transports being murdered. Excellent. And we've smashed Hong Kong. Oh, wow. Destroyer screen. Yes. Look. Escort power. Invade power. Yes. That's what we want. Here we go. Okay. Ooh, Hong Kong. Oh, Hong Kong's its own thing, is it? Oh, I never realised that. Um. Okay, well, we'll just go for the southern China. For the naval invasion. And then do Hong Kong afterwards. So where's that going to go? It's, I mean, Hong Kong's separate, so it's going to have to be these, which is where I was originally putting the ships anyway. But okay, we'll just plonk them in. The other fleet is on the way. Slowly. Let's get them down here. Britain has taken over Kazakhstan. Great. Let's see what Russia do. I mean, they've not pushed back yet, so I don't know what they're planning. But yeah, Britain's getting stronger by the day. I need to keep up with them. Hopefully this works. Apparently the Soviet Union want a peace deal. No, keep fighting. Chinese transports being murdered and hammering the port. That's ridiculous. Yeah, the naval invasion has begun. Alrighty, this is going to take 
six turns. As it is now with the fleets we have here, we've got a 75% chance of succeeding. Which is marvellous. Now we're going to have a load of these coming in. Which is even more tonnage. What I'm going to do is tell them to just uh, stay away from each other so they don't accidentally merge. Because that's just a nightmare. I've actually managed to separate them all to the different classes. And then we've got the Washingtons down here as well. Extra tonnage. Yes, please. It's going to take them two turns to move there. That's fine. And if I could just grab all of that. Oh, yeah. I fixed the tonnage thing, by the way. <laughs> now, I'd build more ships, but we can't afford that right now. We really can't. Are you currently using the bank balance as it is? I may even be able to start an Ava Invasion down here at the same time. Magong, wherever that is. Um, Pengu. Let's try it. Oh no, it won't let me. Never mind. More Chinese transports being murdered. Ooh, a new rangefinder. Lovely. Now the British have just taken Syria. They're really going for this area, aren't they? That's not very good. We've got a random battle here. A wasp versus a torpedo boat. Now, probably can't catch that. Well, technically we can, but I won't be chasing it for three million years. The Henry E. Yarnell. Does anybody know who that is? I have no clue. Ooh, I can smell toast. Mmm. It made me hungry. Oh, I'm not kidding. That smells amazing. That's really making me hungry. I'll have to finish this recording first. Yeah, not chasing them for three days. Now we've got up to 90% chance of this successful naval, naval invasion. That's wonderful. And if we can do that with something like that, then I'm thinking we're going to be pretty good for Eastern China, which has a lot of oil, well, bits of oil as well. And a hell of a lot of money. And then I could even do Northeast China. Fantastic. Oh, definitely. Absolutely fantastic. Going to be a winner, is that? Let's end the turn, because I think we're all at scratch. More Chinese destroyers murdered. The port's been bombarded. The Soviets are being smashed by our minefield somewhere. And then the British keep getting hammered. Oh, no, they're doing all right. They're actually pushing back now against southern China. Thing is, our troops are in there as well just as many as them. The Soviets are helping to defend the Chinese. They're going for Tibet now as well and Xing or Xing, whatever you want to call that. Not true, but oh, they see they produce a lot of money as well. They're really pushing. They're not going for Russia anymore. But I am going to start taking these before Britain can. Now we've now got a 100% success rate on that and that is marvellous. We've got a task force. That's another thing. I might auto resolve this one. Yeah, uh, that'll do. Ooh, that's a nice one. Aerodynamic shell type. More penetration range. Yes. Get me some of them. Armor quality is coming on. I could go for the cruiser design. It's it'll be one of them gradual ones. Or I could just leave it. We're not building cruisers right now. And we're not that bothered. We're going to go for the bigger bolts with little bolts floating around them. That's why I've been pushing the torpedoes. I mean, I'm not a new gun. I could go for better, well, more torpedo tube technology, maybe. I do have to watch out for the submarine threat. So underwater acoustics and things would be good. I do have a hydrophone station now. And that's quite nice. But we've got nothing to really blow up the things with. We don't have depth charges or anything. And I don't want that to be a thing. So I think I'm going to keep going with that. I'm not bothered about building submarines on my own. Yeah, I think we'll leave it at that. I do want to see what this... Man, that whole strength thing seems to be coming along. I might even be able to get another one of them in. Oh, look. I can do some of this now. Um, Pengu, yeah, we'll get that in. Should be able to do that at the same time. It's a little area down there. Don't think we'll even need to move the ships. Spain are asking for a ceasefire. No, we'll keep going and we're going to murder them. 
Now, when I look, a border patrol, we've managed to corner one of the CAs, and we've got... Oh, who are they? Oh, Netherlands! And they've got some of the old Augustas down here, I think. And one of our destroyers. Let's go pay them a visit. Northeast, you say. Well, I reckon I can take it out with just this ship. This is the Henry E. Yarnell again. And we'll just get these cruisers to follow the destroyer, because that's going to find them first. Full speed. We'll put everything, well, torpedoes on save and try and find this thing. Oh, we found it. Oh, it's coming at us. Well, that's an armored cruiser. Supposedly. Look how wide that is. Looks like a barge. There's a done here. There's no casemates on it. Oh, there's one at the front. There isn't any on the side. Oh, oh, they do have guns in there. Just absolutely... The barrels are that short. Oh, no. No, they are there. Oh, okay. I'll give him that. But, yeah, now this thing's going to get wrecked by the destroyer alone, I think. Which is already squirting at them. Lovely jubbly. What's the torpedo range on these now? It'll be something a little bit more ridiculous. 6.6 kilometers, and that is on rapid torpedoes as well. At least it should be. Let's get nice and close. I'll turn them on save and I'll turn them when we're a lot closer. Oh, the squirting. The squirting. Nowhere near though. Speed it up. Let's uh, follow the Arnold. We've hit it and did a partial pen. <laughs> oh man. I don't think that's got very good armor on it then. I want to get closer before the torpedoes decide that they want to have a good squirting session. Maybe we can fire backwards. So if I loop around the back of it, that might be a good idea. If I get really close. Just need to make sure we don't fire. Oh, it's turning into me. Oh, it's launched torpedoes. That's going to be a miss. We're going to do a hard right now and squirt at them. There we go. Launched. Two together. Yes. Get some smoke screen down. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. Oh, brilliant. Oh, that is done. Ah, oh, lovely. Would you look at that? Perfect strike. Well, that was a nice little one, wasn't it? Here, look. This wasp. Oh, wow. The cost is going to have gone down. Two and a half million. And that cruiser was nearly nine million. Oh, they were cadets as well. Poor lads. More Chinese transports murdered. The port's been hammered. People keep buying ships off me. That's good. Oh! United States gains control of Northern Colombia. Oh, we got that, did we? Ah, oh, yeah. Nice. Just want Venezuela now. Can we prod them? I mean, what was the... Yeah, see, the port size was a little bit low there. These are a little bit bigger. We do have... Oh, are they ready? Oh, they just need refitting. Yeah, we're going to have more battleships down there soon, so we should be able to take control of the entire area, which will be absolutely fantastic. I also want to see if I can prod Mexico a little bit, just, well, because a lot of these are now not neutral nations. I mean, we've got Denmark, I suppose, that we could prod, but I don't really see the point. I mean, we could, we could. Just thinking more the oil. The oil is there and I want it. When those two other battleships are done and ready, we can move them into here and then instigate a bit of a doodah there. Then there's oil in Peru. I want that. I think there's more oil down here somewhere. Or maybe not yet. No, I can't see any. But well, these islands, a lot of them are... Well, they just need invading. Can, including Pearl Harbor. We could go for the Soviet Union there. Plenty we can do around here. You see with this part of India that broke away from the British. 
that's a potential invasion but we're definitely going to get southern china before the british do so that's the main thing and once we've got that we should be able to do land invasions into central china hopefully apparently the, it's going to take six turns to get that little island but okay we can try on Formosa as well see if we can get another one going in the same area or it won't let me never mind see how we go i guess still gonna park these ships right next to venezuela and see if we can actually instigate a prodigy. If we can get that that'd be great let's go for another turn more chinese transports being murdered and the port smashed oh we got the armor nice and that's a good one as well plus four percent penetration is good what I could do, see I've got 21 Augusta class cruisers there, I could go and send them over down here and start taking out some of these little islands and finish off Spain. We should still have enough tonnage. Yeah, what tonnage is that going to be? Uh, we can start with this one I suppose. 6,000 ton, oh that's crew. Not quite now, each one is around 3,000 I think and there's 21... Or maybe 60,000 tons. That'll be enough to take that out. And the others. Marvellously. And they can defend themselves. We've got another convoy. Yeah, I'll auto that one. That's fine. Ambush. Oh, hey, oh. Soviet Union are at it again. They've got another one of their battleships. <laughs> oh, no. They're going to get murdered. I mean, chew it. We'll go murder them. Right, let's have a gander at this. So we've got some of the Greek ships in here as well. Oh, they're already there as well. Marvellous. Let's try and separate the ones mine from theirs. Okay. They're going to wriggle around and sort themselves out. We'll get them in that general direction. We'll have the other ones going in that general direction. Put them all on save ammunition for the torpedoes. And go as fast as you can. Oh, they're all being funny. Oh, there you go. They'll sort themselves out now. They get in there. They get in there. Hopefully, they'll sort themselves out before we actually do get there. So, for the battleship, let's just try and get them sorted. Make it so they all target the same. Well, the correct ship, really. Yeah, look, we're all lining up now. This is going to be lovely. I could smoke screen it, but I'm not going to bother. I'm going to get really nice and close. I'll smoke it now we're in danger close territory. Hopefully they don't get blacked. Might not be my ship, some of these, but I don't particularly want them to get murdered. They are our allies. We've already launched torpedoes. I am going to get these to actually launch torpedoes against that one. And these come at. Oh, that's going to hit. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, goody. Did do that much. Well, now they're launching torpedoes at me. That's fine. I can live with that. Oh, we got a hit. More torpedoes in the water. Oh my Gideon. Oh, that one went pop. That one hit. You're going to the back of the line. That's understandable. I probably should micro this a little bit more. Dud, that's another torpedo. Who else has got to fire? Have you fired? Oh, they've all fired. Right, okay. Well, you come back. You come back this way, because you're not going to... It's a little bit sinking now. Oh, more torpedoes went in. Oh, goody. I don't know who fired them. I don't think we'll be able to burn it. If we get them all just going away for a little while... 
Oh, the guns are actually doing serious damage to this. Oh, no, they're not. That's just a fluke. We can get them all together, though, I think. That might be better. Let's get them all going that way until the torpedoes reload. Well, that battleship is not having a very nice day. Sailing off into the distance. Might even be better going line abreast. Oh no, they're all wiggling. This should be good. Alright, so what's the first one out now? Right at the front. You're not too far away. They're actually recovering some of this damage. Oh, have you fired again? No, I don't think they have. I think their torpedoes just got eliminated. So Hawkins is just floating off that way for a little minute. While torpedoes reload the... Oh, they're a while away, but most of them are going to be fairly close. Oh, well. Launching torpedoes again. No! I'll turn them off. I'm not having that. Torpedoes come against us. Gonna miss. Oh, hello, cat. Oh, you've been outside, you're all wet. Ugh. But anyway, yeah, let's get all, get these now. Hopefully we can finish them off. They are having a good day. The rudder's smashed. If I can just take out this with the torpedoes, we should be able to burn this one. Should. We'll see. What I am going to do, the smoke screen on, get them nice and close so they don't get murdered and do it manually. You now put save ammunition on so you're going to shoot when you're ready. We we'll just need to traverse. Yeah, they've launched. They look good. They both look good. Yes, two more hits. You can have a go. Yeah, they've launched. Marvellous. This is eating torpedoes quite well, actually. And you can do some as well. Sod it. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Nice. Okay, everyone turn your torpedoes off again. So now we only have this thing left. Not bad result so far. It's probably going to try and run away, but there's absolutely no chance that is ever going to happen. This is the hull that is actually quite resistant. I've chosen not to do it, because it's just not very seaworthy-ish, if you know what I mean. You don't get the range out of it. And how many torpedoes do we have left? Two. Four. Four torpedoes, is that it? Oh man. God, this we're going to keep streaming. You might be able to burn it to death. It does have plenty of casemates on it though, and they are particularly good at taking out things like destroyers. We are going to attempt to burn it. Thankfully, we've still got all of our speed. How fast does that thing go? 19 knots. And we don't have another smoke screen for another three minutes, so that is particularly dangerous. But if we can cause fires, it should be good. 
if I can get this course correct. That thing keeps wriggling around. That thing also has torpedoes on it, so I do need to be mindful of them. Oh, Willy! Oh, Willis! There you go. Right, you're in a half decent position to launch your torpedoes. Go. Yeah, you have. Oh, it's burnt! Oh, lovely! Oh, that turned out better. Well, that went too bad, was it? Stats for anybody who's interested. Well, that wasn't bad, was it? My voice keeps going in and out today. Never mind. But yes, so naval invasion there. Oh, potential. We'll try and prod them. The oilage. This is going marvelously well. One more turn and we should have that. The Brits are trying. They're actually... Mm, maybe. I don't know. We'll see what they do there. But yes, wonderful. Oh, I think we've got it. I think we've got it. I'm just going to murder some more transports first. Yes. Ah, yeah. We've got it. We've got it. Mmm. Good stuff. I like it. Right. Well, let's try and get Eastern China now, shall we? Because we can. If I can grab these. Oh, yeah, we can. That's a lot of tonnage. But we can do it. Eastern China. We've still got Hong Kong. How much does that even actually make? Oh, wow. Hong Kong makes a load of money. Didn't even realize that. Well, we'll definitely grab that. But yeah, if we can get this sorted, then hopefully get some peace. Ah, oh, the GDP increase with the Chinese blob in there as well. Ah, yeah, that'd be nice. And the Italian. So the battle's going to be around here, probably Shanghai. So if I get our shippage over there, I'll just sort these out. Even Pengo has quite a lot. So I'm going to send the battleships over and see what the success chance is there, because we've still got a lot of CLs floating around there. Might even send these back just to assist in Pengu invasion. It's probably a good idea, actually. Look at I've just spotted. It's a lone Soviet Union battleship. What's that doing there? I mean, our destroyers are probably going to pounce on that when the chance arises. More Chinese shipping destroyed. Oh, yeah. Would you look at that? With just these cruisers here, we've still got a 100% chance of conquering Pengu Island. As that stands, it's 55% for Eastern China. That's such a big area. Now, that's got six turns, so that's only got four left. So what I am going to do is, as soon as this one is done, move more ships in. I can just have these on the very edge. To make sure that they can actually move to the other area quickly. Another turn, more Chinese shipping gone. Sport port has been smashed. Oh, depth charge type 1, yes! Oh, that's what I needed. I needed that, just to make sure. Just to be ready for the submarine here. Nearly got Pengu Island, or whatever you want to call it. And then these will go up here. Currently that's 55% chance. But as soon as they move up before that duration ends, we should be good. Have you seen this? Soviet Union are just floating ships around everywhere. Uh, not little ones neither. Battleship. Battleship, three light cruisers. Another battleship. Some uh, just a small task force really. There's a few bits around. Another armored cruiser. They keep trying to get out of there and we keep ambushing them. I mean, that's completely fine with me. This lone cruiser uh, battleship is gone. I think the Brits may have taken care of it. I'm not too sure. But still, no, that's not bad at all. If they're refitting to the new one, then that's going to be another full fleet down here. That's going to be lovely. But still, Austria-Hungary are trying to 
invade here now as well. I, mean, I don't know why they're invading with such a small army force, but it, it is what it is. It's still us there in Monte Janeiro. They're just trying to recover. They've actually got quite a number of ships now, mostly torpedo boats, but still. But once I've... I mean, basically, I'm on a ticking clock right now because my naval funds are, will run out. Now, to stop that from happening, I'm just going to grab what I can and then peace out. Spain wants to peace out. China's already asked. Russia has asked. I'm just going to grab what I can first and then, bloop, that's it. Peace for a few years because we need cash. The GDP will rise stupid amounts and it will be glorious. Ooh, another ambush. Yeah, we were just talking about that, weren't we? A new armored cruiser. Okay. 10,000 ton cruiser. Nothing to be laughed at. We've got Hornet. How, oh, yeah, it's theirs. Just an army of destroyers. <laughs> I love these things. They're great. Well, I don't think anyone's going to be surprised on who's going to win this one then. Oh, the inline abreast. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, it's a... Rainy one. Oh, wow, they're having a right dance. They do that when the weather changes. It's quite hilarious, to be completely honest. It's not even in the water now. How long is that going to... Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, glitch in the Matrix. Oh, everything's happening now. Oh, it's still having a meltdown. What? Oh, we'll leave it to it for a minute, shall we? Hopefully that doesn't affect accuracy too well. <laughs> oh, no. I don't even know where the enemy is. East. That way. I mean, we can go that way, I suppose. Yeah, what are you in? You're in line of breath. Oh, they stopped it. Oh, it's behaving more now, but it's still... a bit hovery. I mean, okay. It is what it is. Eastward. Hey, this might be why they tried it. Let's just go and try and find them. I don't think we will in this storm, but you never know. We're not too far away. Can't see anything. What I might do is just put them all like that and just be done with it. Let's try and find them. I can barely see the ship. They've stopped wiggling, but... I do love the sounds of that. Oh, we found it. Oh, it's coming to us. Have a look at this thing then. Oh, that's another one of them, is it? Alright, well, torpedoes, we'll put them on normal. We'll get everybody on ahead instead. We'll just get them to follow Kane's party and I'll just go in. They're all going to be shuffling around now like lemons to try and get into position. Well, they'll be fine. What I might even do is put them on normal separation rather than loose yes I know the destroyers and they like to be loose but it is what it is oh, well I think they just launched a torpedo at me never mind all right first up to have a go is Kane oh, I'll turn them all off actually that's a good point oh pause it I need to do that I don't want them all launching torpedoes instead of follow just go in the same battle line instead of yeah, launching torpedoes when they want to. I want it so that it's when I want them to. I barely see what's going on here. So, Kane, we're going to call this guy Harry Kane. Now he's either going to fluke it or he's absolutely going to smash it. Are we ready? They're turning in. I need to be at a good angle. Uh, I mean, smoke, I suppose. There we go, right. Fire. Yep, they fired. Excellent, excellent. That's two torpedoes hit. 
You go that way. Oh, I might lose a destroyer here. Never mind. You fire. Uh, we'll get you on a go. Wet burn or weather burn. Oh, I thought we were going to lose Harry Kane there. Wet burn, what are you doing? Oh, you've done it, you've done it, you've done it. Oh yeah, it's going down now. That wasn't too bad. Just a rather little bit damp in this weather. I love listening to Thunderstorms Storm Star. They're always, I don't know, weird. But yes, wonderful. Another expensive bolt gone. Marvellous. More Chinese transports being murdered. And civilians being murdered in the bombardment. Oh, we got Pengu. Ah, yeah. Another, another convoy thing. It's that ship again. Yarnall's on it. Let's auto resolve it. Right, yeah, that'll do it. We have the Pengu. Oh, oh, Mongong. Magong. Why is it called Pengu then? Oh, it's just the port, isn't it? Cool. Right. Well, in that case, we need to move these ships up here for the extra 145,000 tonnage worth of extra ship. Yep. Lovely jubilee. That's going to be increasing the chances. To bet. Are they going to get it? I don't think so. Oh, they're getting somewhere with Xing, or whatever you want to call that. They're not invading Russia anymore. I mean, how are they even standing? So they took on pretty much everybody's fleets, including the Soviet Union and everybody else. All the Ch China has no ships. <laughs> oh no. But yeah, no, they've been busy. Um, so they're building like mad right now. France is the only real other threat. So uh, really, the other people with fleets now is me, France, and Britain. That's it. Now, Britain is it? Oh, they've got subs now, look. Mm. Oh, and battle cruises. Oh, my. How advanced are they? Madness. France, I think, is starting to catch up. My GDP is shockingly compared to theirs. But I need peace. They've never... Well, they've not been... <laughs> They've had a lot of peace time, let's put it that way. But they are getting buddy-buddy with Germany, and I hope that doesn't mean that they're going to go with them and then just ditch me. But at the same time, that kind of works. Because we need to end the war. I mean, once we grab that, I think we'll be good. But yes, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to leave this episode here. It's probably about an hour now. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in a bit, get some tea, thank you for chatting, because it's probably a premiere, and I'll see you all in a bit, bye!